ladies and gentlemen, introducing our 2023 California Rose Hall of Fame inductee, Mr. Abram Ross. His presenter is his daughter. His daughter traveled all the way from South Carolina. She's a sports newscaster for WSPA, so she's used to the early morning hours. Her flight flew in this morning at 3 a.m. Let's welcome Miss Mariah Ross. from coming all the way out here from South Carolina. Long trip. Both me and her are a little tired. Like I said, she came in at 3 a.m. I have to pick her up at 3 a.m. <laughs> from San Francisco, by the way. All right. <laughs> you know, it's an honor to be, in, to have be um, inducted with my fellow Hall of Fame inductees here um, into the California Wrestling Hall of Fame. When I began wrestling as a skinny little kid from a neighborhood down south, about five miles away from here, Seven Trees, this is not expected. This was not expected. So thanks to all the committee people and the board members for voting for me. Growing up, I was, I was very competitive. I liked to challenge myself and others. How fast I can run. How many push-ups I can do. How high I can climb that tree. So obviously I fell in love with wrestling. I believed in myself. I worked hard and I had some success, both as an athlete and as an official. But none of that would happen or been possible without the love, support, and guidance from my family, friends, and loved ones. I would like to thank my family first. My dad, Charles Ross, tough love, always confident in my abilities. My two younger sisters, <laughs> Tricia and Talisha, they're sitting here over in the crowd. Um, I, would, I would come home after learning a move and practice on them. <laughs> I bet they love that. <laughs> my handsome twin boys, AJ, Anthony, my beautiful daughter. I'm more proud of you three than you'll ever be of me. My amazing wife, she's sitting over there, Beatrice, who's a phenomenal person and my biggest supporter. My coaches, Joe Nigos, Drew Shelton. I got Jose Solorio. All these guys, I know I was a headache <laughs> sometimes, and thanks for being patient, and all that you done for me. Um, so when my days as a wrestler was over, I made a transition to officiating with some of the wisdom from old Coach Nigos. He's all, you should officiate. You know the sport, and you can make some extra money. Hey, I was all for that. <laughs> thanks again, Coach. <laughs> I have some great officials and friends that I'll remember forever. And I have some great mentors who guided me in my way of officiating. I'd like to thank Dwayne Morgan, Lynn Dyke, Keith Pickard, who's not here, Mike Carr, Cody Olson, Kenny Gaudreau, and the great Pat Lovell. I've had the opportunity to work, or we call it blow the whistle, at several exciting tournaments all over the country and up and down the state with some of my officiating brothers, some of who are here today, Bob Edmonds, Jim, Jesse Midland, Mark Hayes, Randy Katz, Gene Nanez, Fernando Siqueiros, Johnny Lawrence, Rick McKinney, Don Valdez, just to name a few. And Rick actually was my freestyle cadet national coach also. I know I was a headache to you, Rick, all those times I was missing weight. <laughs> That's funny. Oh yeah, and last but not least, my tall Asian brother from another mother, Jimmy Chin. <laughs> Now, in closing, this is real hard for me. 
but I would like to dedicate this award to my mom. She's not here right now. She passed away 18 years ago, and it hurts so much to this day. But she made all the sacrifices for me and my family as growing up. She was my biggest inspiration, and I love you, Mom. Thank you, guys.